here we have the full complement of uh, equipment. The cheetah box with the imager, the front day scope adapter box when you're using for when you're using it as a front add-on accessory, as per that photo there. Branding wise, if you remember we reviewed the Thunder TQ50C scope and add-on and the TE19C scope and add-on and have a look in the thermal playlists down below. The Thunder accessories for the add-on, eyepiece and scope rail are the same for the range whether you have the cheetah night vision imager and scope or whether you have the panther thermal imager and scope and it'll have one upper projection here if it has either the laser rangefinder or lrf fitted or the ir lamp which would be 850 nanometers or 940 nanometers or it'll have two projections here if it has both an ir lamp and an lrf this cheetah has both projections on top for full functionality so that's the day scope objective lens clamp for the cheetah we have thunder thermal eyepiece so that's the eyepiece to convert a front add-on to a day scope or a spotter and we have the rail to convert the front add-on or spotter to a dedicated rifle scope starting with the accessories and in the box we have some foam packaging actually it's very generous foam packaging cheetah information leaflet we have it's a little allen key there and a washer which can be used to tighten the, the uh, scope clamps we have the objective lens clamp and we have the self-adhesive backed rubber strips which basically you line the objective lens clamp with as many of these as you need to pack it out to the diameter of the outside of your day scope's objective lens. I'll put that back in there a second. And here's the clamp, which you will recognize from the Hype Micro Thunder thermal scope and add on, which we've previously reviewed. And here's the slot in the clamp, which the washer allows you to tighten. Quality equipment. And yep, you've got locky instructions and direction there and adjustable clamp via this nut. Then we have Thunder Thermal Eyepiece. We then have the eyepiece, which has a nice protective cap here and yep protective seal so that's the corrugated rubber eye cup and there'll be a pinhole on here somewhere to prevent it fogging there you go so when you take off the protective plastic seal this allows you to use the imager as a spotter or as a day scope I'll put this to one side we then have the rail which contains we've got an allen key a plastic pack which i'm guessing will have some more of these washers and uh, yep there we go and here's the two mounting screws and if you remember these have to be very very tightly screwed up to prevent the imager from wobbling at all when used as a day scope here's the nuts with the slots to allow the washer to be used to tighten the day scope up via these two screws through here and the rail needs to be very tightly fastened via those two allen screws to the underside of the imager and if i remember from when bruce and i reviewed the thunder te19c and tq50c i think bruce measured the force required at about 25 inch pounds so uh, a fair bit of force and don't be shy because this uh, imager body is very strong indeed and meanwhile you can use either the washer or you could use a hex wrench to gently tighten this picatinny rail onto your rifle action and we have a pair of uh, bolts that double up as recoil arrestor studs okay so nicely made picatinny rail and before I open up the main event, within the box's outer casing, 
we have a battery charger in the left side. Like so. So this takes up to two 18650 batteries. There we go. That is USB-C powered, 5 volt, 2.1 amp in. On the other side, a clip on shoulder strap with a padded shoulder rest for the box itself. This goes on the D-rings on either side. Now for the main event. Onto the main event we have a very comfortable handle, a sort of firm Cordura style finish zipped carry pouch which as you've seen has D-rings left and right for the shoulder straps and then open this fella up and we have padded central section of the imager itself and yep as expected it's the cheetah and this is a C32F RL so RL it has the laser rangefinder and it has the IL illuminator lamp. We have a pair of Hype Micro branded 3200 milliamp power 18650 batteries, which is brilliant. These are pinheads. We have the cheetah itself, and it has the adapter fitted to allow it to take the thunder adapter as a, a front day scope add-on imager with a protective cap underneath we have the 18650 battery compartment as i said we've got the lrf the ir lamp lens cap we've got a solid mounting base and this is virtually bomb proof as i know from past experience and on the left side we've got the on-off button, the illuminator button and press and, and twist jog dial control and we've got the polarity indicated on the battery compartment. And this is the ring you undo, counterclockwise if I remember rightly, to disconnect the adapter allow you to fit the eyepiece adapter for use as a handheld spotter or as a dedicated day scope. And on the other side of the protective divider, we have a pouch containing USB-A to USB-C cable for the battery charger, lens cleaning cloth, and an instruction booklet, which is the quick start guide. And as always, we have QR codes to Facebook and Instagram. And within this, there'll be another QR code pointing you towards downloading the full user manual. Here are your ancillary accessories, battery charger, USB A to C charging cable, lens cloth, quick start user guide, and your shoulder strap for the carry case. Thanks very much for watching. Loads more photos available in my Flickr album, which I'll add to as our review progresses. And I'll be filming very, very soon with Bruce uh, Phoenix from the UK Night Vision Forum in his man cave as uh, we give the cheetah a full rundown and this will include in front add-on mode handheld spotter mode and dedicated scope mode thanks for watching